Well, hello, friends. I um, Yeah, you're seeing a not normal screen here for us, but I am sharing with you my QuickBook screen because I want to share with you the practical steps for setting up your QuickBooks to track the net asset categories. So you've heard me many, many times talk about how important it is that your net assets are measured by those things that have restrictions and don't have restrictions. Uh, I'll link to several of those episodes and um, videos in um, this post. But what I want you to know is that you can actually do this inside of QuickBooks. So here's how. In QuickBooks, if you go to your account and settings, and then you click down here under the advanced tab, you'll see that there are categories listed here that you can turn on. In this case, the way you do it is you track the net assets categories by using the track classes feature. So you wanna turn that on. Now, what happens is that you will create those classes. Um, you can do it on the fly even, but here's an example. So um, you, after you create them or as you create them on the fly, then each time you have an expense uh, that is being is using up those restricted funds, you'll fill out all your normal information for your expenses. And then right here, you'll now have a column that says class. You'll click in there and use the selection of the ones you've created or type it if it's the first time you've used it. You'll also do the same thing. I'm looking at this next tab on a bank deposit. So when you're recording a bank deposit, filling in all your normal information and bam, you land at the class. So once again, now you can um, record that. Then the last step I wanna point out is that you're gonna actually run a report. So under reports, you'll go to uh, the report options and um, under standard reports and under profit and loss by class, bam, you'll click that, you'll run that report. It will now have a column for each of the things that are restricted and those activities that negative or positive of them, if they're more giving than there are expenses, you'll have a positive balance. It will also now show up on your balance sheet. Um, I hope that this is very helpful in creating a visual for what is possible. And I want you to know that if you need any help setting that up, you can jump on my website, schedule a free call with me. We'll be able to share a video and um, walk through those steps. I want to help you with that.